Libra. <laughs> this Libra has been coming out a lot. So we got Libra. Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. There's going to be some truth coming out. Aquarius, reflect on your priorities. And Sagittarius, practice gratitude. This could be some secrets coming out. Healing Earth. The power to give and receive healing. The Light Princess, Ungrounded. Somebody could be burnt out. They're trying to steal your man. They're sad and depressed and they're mad because they can't take advantage of you. Something about a father. Somebody was not sure where they stood with you. This could be a father um, reflecting on their priorities. Okay. Burnt out. This could be from overworking. Innocence. The sun. You guys could have gray hair. I see somebody here with gray hair. Stress reversed. I 
I just heard something about someone's overcommitted. They feel like you're overcommitted to something. Two of Pentacles. Um, yeah, the Seven of Wands reverse. That's a stress reversed. Two of Coins moment to moment. You guys could have multiple jobs, multiple priorities. Ordinariness, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely something about work or some skilled, skilled work. Aloneness reversed, Hermit reversed. Yeah, somebody's saying something like, um, Somebody's overly committed. We'll see more what that is afterwards. Burnt out from overworking. This could be a Virgo. Slowing down. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, these are, um, these energies are very hard working. Slow and steady, the turtle there. Completion reversed, the world reversed. Somebody's fallen, um, for some of you guys, somebody's fallen like you guys have some kind of unfinished business. This could be a project or a work project that is wrapping up or almost complete. This could be a Leo also. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Sharing, Queen of Wands. Inner Voice. So we have Pisces. Ripeness, Nine of Pentacles. I just heard you're on the right path. Someone's on the right path. This could be a feminine energy that um, has, you guys could have multiple jobs, multiple streams of income. Somebody's handling um, things well, that was what it looks like. I'm seeing a lot of positivity in this energy though. There's a lot of smiles in this energy. Everybody's smiling on this card, on these cards. This person's smiling here in the sun. This queen of wands is smiling. I'm just getting this sense like this, I don't know. It just feels like something's funny or something in this energy. Somebody wants you to feel like you're overly committed or something like that, or someone's overly committed to you. Okay, burnt out from overworking. This doesn't necessarily even have to be you. This could be somebody else you're tied to overworking, burnt out. You guys could be a workaholic with a Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, um, burnt out from overworking. Stress reverse. You don't look like you're stressed or nothing. Stress reverse. What is this? Somebody's anger? Angry? Some kind of anger. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just heard you're overly committed to her. I'm seeing somebody getting ready to take a leap of faith. You guys could have some decisions to make. Slowing down. Queen of Wands. Ordinariness. It's interesting because in this energy, you don't look like, whoever this is, you don't look like you're burnt out or nothing. Somebody's looking at you like you're burnt out or you're overworking or something. You could work a lot. That could be just an ordinary thing with this Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You guys could be very affluent, successful, enjoying the fruits of your labor. Somebody's angry. I just don't feel like this is you angry. Queen of Wands. I feel like somebody else is angry regards to you. Queen of Wands. Um, typically somebody very ambitious. You guys could be very creative. You could cook for a living or have some kind of um, creative businesses. It's usually Queen of Wands is somebody very, <clears throat> somebody very driven, ambitious, busy, busybody. What else? So why is somebody angry? Show me this Hermit Reverse. Message. You could not be answering messages. You could be cold, distant, MIA. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, world reversed. Some money. Constancy. Yeah, you're stable. Um, you could be a Taurus. You're real stable, solid. Spirit, what is this? Somebody's overly committed or something? You could not be paying attention to where this is and you're just focused on your job or work or businesses. The snake. Okay, so this could be a karmic energy. They could be trying to send you all you guys messages or your person messages. Somebody's saying something like, um, someone's overly committed to you. Anger. The stork. Queen of Hearts. You're not stressed or nothing. Somebody else in this energy is stressed. They feel like they're unsuccessful. Someone's upset because you're successful, you're thriving. Yeah, I'm hearing why are you so successful? Somebody is hating on you guys big time. Um, some of you guys are getting going to be getting some kind of communication on Sunday. Somebody's got um, like phone calls on do not disturb mode. They could be on um, airplane mode. I'm seeing somebody's putting their phone on some kind of airplane mode or something. Whoever this other energy outside of you that's angry, hating, they feel like they don't have as much money as you or something like that. They're trying to figure out how much money you're making. Possibly how much your partner is making. Ungrounded. Somebody else is ungrounded. You're busy working. Practicing gratitude, fortunate, blessed, 
seeing gains with the Sagittarius energy. You could be very independent with this Aquarius energy. Revealing what needs to be seen. World reversed, constancy, some money. The house. Where else is somebody angry? Seven of Wands reversed. This could be somebody that wanted you to be stressed. The ship. You definitely could be in the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'm seeing the Eight and Two of Pentacles. The house, some money, constancy. Yeah, you guys are stable and stuff. You could have your own house. Somebody else that you're attached to or no? Or whoever this is. Possibly watching you guys or something. They're angry. They feel like you're overly committed to or someone's overly committed to you. Anger. Mature man. They are, someone's trying to get somebody to um, quit or give up on themselves. Surrender. Some of you guys, this could be, um, you and your something about you and your partner's income you guys could combine incomes somebody's trying to get somebody to quit or something they could have gotten a um a masculine energy to quit or give up on their success in the past or got them to um quit their job or something like that someone's stripping anger wealthy man Wealthy, you're a wealthy man or woman. Stability. The house, some money. They're trying to block something with some lovers or some soulmate twin flame. Somebody's um, could be watching you guys constantly. The lovers. Yeah, they want to challenge something so you're not successful or so your partner's not successful. Someone is tripping and hating. You guys could live in Aspen or um, went to Aspen or something. I'm picking up something with Aspen. Message the snake. You're not concerned. You're just focused on work, toil, and labor. Someone's tripping over you guys. It's like somebody wants all your focus and attention to be on them or something. Anger. Somebody's mad because you're successful. They want you to quit on yourself or give up. Possibly quit your job or something. Sun and Capricorn reverse. They don't want you to have any type of achievements. They want you to just quit or something. Someone knows you're happy. You're enjoying your work. 
This could be something new with this stork or some kind of arrivals. Could be something about a child. This could be somebody at a distance. They're angry because they are not achieved or they don't have no life. Lovers, house, some money, constancy. For some, this could be your partner. Um, this reading could be for a man or divine masculine. I'm getting the sense like someone is saying like you're overly committed to somebody or something. I feel like um, whoever this is could be an ex or a past person. I feel like they're very angry, jealous, and I feel like you were overly committed to whoever that is. The house, constant sea lovers. Jupiter and Aquarius, this could be your friends. Innovation. You guys could work in technology. What are they so angry about? They don't have any empathy, lack of empathy. Sun in 12th house, sorry, moon in 12th house. This could be a Pisces, moon in Pisces. Somebody needs you to not be successful and not stable so they can be happy, it looks like. <laughs> Message snake. They're bored and lonely or something. This could be a son of Taurus. Venus and Libra. Indecision. They could be thinking about uh, your wife or your woman. What else? Message. The snake. Mercury and Pisces. Inspiration. You guys could be entrepreneurs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. It just seems like it's funny for some reason. Like, it's just... Someone's very upset. Like, it doesn't make sense. What are you supposed to be doing? It's like, somebody wants you to be a loser so they can be comfortable or something. Seeing somebody in a jacuzzi or some kind of hot tub. Anger her seven of wands reverse. There, someone's waiting for you to give up on yourself or quit. They don't want you having any success. It's hilarious. Um, seven of wands reverse anger. This could be a king of swords um, or masculine energy, or somebody um, a masculine energy is tied to. Somebody you guys cut off. Possibly somebody a man cut off. They could have gotten this person to give up on themselves or quit. Seven of Wands reverse anger. They don't want... <laughs> they don't want you guys to have any type of achievements. Three of Pentacles. Ace of pentacles this could be an increase in your guys's money job this could be something about co-workers they could not want you to help somebody yeah something with your stability security they're angry about this they want you guys to quit your job or one of you guys quit your job or your work whatever you're doing with the success they want you to quit that they're highly stressed out they could be burnt out from overworking or just burnt out in general. You guys look happy and fine to me. 
I just don't see what the problem. Show me this king of swords, anger. Did this person cut whoever this else person is off? Feels like there's somebody else. Yeah, three of wands. It could be a third party. Possibly somebody at a distance. You cut somebody off. You could have been helping them, teaming up with them, or committed to them. I'm just getting this sense like you were overly committed to whoever that is. Show me this. Yeah, they tend to play reverse psychology. Your person could help you or take care of you for some of you guys. You could have a, a spouse that supports you or um, a husband that supports you. They are telling this person somehow through a message or some kind of communication, possibly telepathic communication, if they got cut off in the material world. They are trying to play um, reverse psychology to make this person think like they're overly committed to you. They shouldn't be supporting you or you guys shouldn't be having no success. Show me this. This could be a bully, somebody that's a bully. Paid of cups, okay. Yeah, some kind of message, possibly um, intuitive communication. The moon, ace of wands. You cut them off and stop possibly supporting somebody or stop sharing your wealth. <clears throat> Whoever that is, is very ungrounded. That could be somebody young or childish. What else? I feel like they're overcommitted or something. They're angry. They're doing this so you... C yeah, this is somebody that's codependent on you. They're codependent on you. Possibly a gold digger. Somebody that was dependent upon you. I feel like you cut off. And it looks like now they're angry... They want you to quit or give up on something. They don't want you in the three of coins helping somebody or working together. For some of you guys, I'm getting this energy like um, somebody's trying to make you guys feel, they're trying to make a man feel like he's a sucker. Like, like oh, you're stupid. You're not supposed to be supporting that person. But there's somebody else, a third party, you were supporting. They're just mad because they got cut off or something. Yeah, they're on their own now. They're on their own, possibly burnt out. They possibly have, they possibly had to pick up another job. They're real stressed. Virgo. Achievement reverse. They could want you to be irresponsible. It could be a Sagittarius. Queen of Cups reverse. This could be a feminine energy. They're feeling very insecure. This could be a narcissist. Strength reverse. Ten of Swords. Yeah, you sever ties with them. They're tripping. You stopped investing into them. They're trying to slow down some kind of gains or blessings with this Jupiter energy. Eight of Wands reversed. They could be waiting on something. Death, the Devil, Six of Cups. They're obsessed with trying to um, recreate the past. This could be a past person. This could be family. This could be something to do with kids. Someone's trying to, um, this could be something to do with your siblings. Someone's trying their best to stay tied to you for finances or something, possibly to take care of their kids. Eight of Wands reverse. Here's an emperor. Yeah, you left somebody out in the cold. They could have affected your financial situation in the past and you had some kind of temporary losses. They're struggling in poverty. And they feel like whoever you're working with, teaming up with or with or something like that or working with, they feel like you're overly committed to whoever that is.
constant C. So you're stable. Somebody has constant C. Somebody's angry about this. Ace of Pentacles. You could have gotten a um, some kind of new investments, a stable job. Some Ace of Pentacles energies. Yeah, they're in Five of Cups stripping. They're sad because you're stable. Possibly you got another source of income. Some money. Somebody's partner works really hard. They're in the Nine of Swords stressing out over money. They need money from you guys or one of y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. You look like you set a boundary possibly. Spirit says they're overreacting. Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're stressing over your sweetheart or your sweetheart's income or something like that. This could be a man that supports a family. Um, Mercury and Aquarius. Sweetheart. Stressing over sweetheart energy. Couple. You guys are a couple. What do you what do they expect? The sun? They're stressed all out because your partner or y'all are successful. They're trying to figure out something how much money somebody's making. Three of Swords. They're heartbroken. Over this third party is. You don't trust them or you ended a friendship or some kind of two cups reverse death. This could be somebody that was trying to come in between you guys. Somebody could be trying to distract you from work with the seven of coins, eight of pentacles, devil. Your person is very accomplished, successful, achieved, responsible, mature. So what are they expecting? They're in the Seven of Swords. They could be trying to end a connection and end a relationship. Three Cups Reverse, the Lovers. They want you to, this third party wants you to choose them. They want you to choose them with something. Page of Wands. Oh, they're jealous. You already know that, though. They're jealous, envious. They're trying to sabotage something. Somebody else wants you to support them or something. Yeah, judgment. You already see this. They got exposed or you realized something. Something was revealed. Looks like you already decided to cut that energy off. The house. They're trying to... Show me this trying to challenge this lover's energy. You guys could both work hard. Person is tripping. Two of cups reversed. Like, how do you just be that miserable like that? I just don't understand. They want to come in between your guys' relationship. Page of Swords. They could have said something in a message. This person is hella codependent. They're waiting for somebody to quit or something. You could not be answering messages or not communicate, not talking to whoever this is. They're trying so hard to get your attention. Page of Swords. Seven of Swords. They want to do sneaky, deceptive things. Six of Swords. They could be trying to get you guys to move towards them or move on from somebody. Yeah, they're trying to. They could have did this in the past. They're trying to get you to block somebody out. They're doing all this so they could be codependent on you in the Nine of Coins reverse. Why don't they get their shit together and learn how to take care of themselves? I just don't get that. I swear it's like these readings get more and more petty or something. 
Okay, what is this house? The house. Ace of Cups. Could be a new lover. Temperance reversed. Somebody's energy could be stressing over um, new love or possibly a child. I see a little um, sonogram here, the stork. The house. What are they stressing out about? Whoever this is could be stressing out. They could work um, low incomes, minimum wage jobs or something like that and overworking, stressed out, living paycheck to paycheck. Because I'm hearing cash in the paycheck and spending it all. They only have this, this, they only have some money. Something about some money in this deck. There's um, two different money cards, I think. Whoever this is has a lower income or something or um, low wages or something like that. They're stressing out possibly in a house or about a house or family dynamic or real estate, a foundation, your guys' businesses. They're impatient. Somebody is saying something like you guys have a personality class. They're trying to find little reasons for you guys to break up or something. The house temperance reverse. Emperor reversed. Two of cups. For some of you guys, what I'm seeing, they want a masculine energy to be unstable. They want some kind of dominance over um, two people or your partner. This could be an Aries. What else? The house? They need some money or something. They feel like you're over committed to someone else. Hanged man, Pisces. There could be a lot of emotion. Um, with somebody, three wands. Somebody's very emotional. Some other people, a person, possibly at a distance. They could be watching you from a distance. Why can't they figure out how to take care of themselves? Because you guys are independent. Nine of Pentacles is what I'm seeing. Ripeness. Someone can't get a hold of you through some kind of messages. They're lonely. Bored. They're a snake. They're trying to be deceptive. They're trying to steal from you. They're trying to use, Somebody wants to use you, take advantage of you. They could be trying to accuse um, your partner of doing that or using you or something like that. Someone is very challenged by how hard your partner is working or something. How, how successful you guys are. That's sad. The stork. Two of Wands. This could be a new creative project. King of Pentacles. Possibly a new business venture. Or you're making plans. Possibly for a new investment. A lot of you guys, um, there's a masculine energy helping you or something like that. Someone's teaming up together with the finances, money, stability. Somebody else is angry about that and they want somebody to quit being successful, give that up because they're stressing out. Wow. Two of Pentacles. Somebody feels like you chose somebody else for some of you guys. Two of Coins. The Tower. You made a choice, a decision, and this is bringing a tower to a third party's life. 
because you're in the Nine of Cups. Blessed, happy, fulfilled. Wow. Abundant. You guys could be rich, wealthy, affluent. <laughs> Hermit reverse. This is just it's just sad and petty. That somebody's upset about that. Hermit reversed message snake. They don't want to accept something is over with his death reverse, devil reverse. They're not successful. They're not achieved. It feels like this person's a loser. It feels like they're a, um, a desperate loser. Six of swords reversed. There's a lot of resistance, possibly with a change. They need to become independent. They're way too ungrounded. This could, yeah, they're empress reverse. They're codependent. It's sad. This could be a karmic feminine. This person's um, extremely jealous. They're not trying to improve their situation or their finances. They're not trying to do nothing about their situation. Three of Swords. They're heartbroken. Okay, what is this message? The snake. Seven of Wands reverse. What are they telling somebody in a message? High Priestess. This could be a Pisces. Yeah, Pisces, the hanged man. Um, could be two Pisces energies. They want you to quit something. It could be a very, um, you could enjoy be enjoying um, quiet time, solitude. It's peace, quiet, you could be an introvert or um, you're just possibly just enjoying your weekend. These are, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> these are real quiet, mysterious type energies, introverted energies, feminine energies. It's, yeah, Pisces is as a feminine sign, receptive. Some snake wants you to quit something. They want you to give up on something. The emperor, emperor reverse. They could not want you. If you're a boss or a manager, they could not want you to do that. They don't want you to have any responsibilities or nothing like that. That's sad. <laughs> the swords. Six of Wands reverse. They are a loser, so they want you to be a loser. That's all I'm seeing. Should I make this indecision? Nine of Wands. You could work really hard and to, and to support a family. This could be a, a man or a masculine energy that works hard and supports a family or um, a home, or you support a lot of people. You could have um, your own businesses and take care of your employees. King of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody blocked this person off of this third party. They got cut off, blocked off. They keep trying to have, it's like they keep trying to have you pick somebody else. They want you to pick them. They want you to provide for them or take care of them. King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. This could be another person involved, possibly a business partner. Seven of Swords. Yeah, they are trying to make somebody think. Um, they want you to think you're overly committed to somebody. You shouldn't be taking care of them. You shouldn't be supporting a family. You shouldn't be supporting something. You, sh you shouldn't be successful. You're supposed to only be taking care of them or something like that. That's sad. That could be um, a, a child, somebody young, or somebody with kids. What else are they saying in the message? To a sword reverse. Yeah. They want you to pick them and stuff. Whoever this is, is, is a loser. Selfish loser. Selfish narcissistic loser.
They could not want to take responsibility for their kids. You will never find someone who loves you like I do. My body is healthy and healing. They were trying to confuse you here too. Somebody also, um, for some of you guys, they don't want you taking care of your own kids. Moving in together. They could have found out about that, possibly through a message, possibly through an intuitive message or a reading. Yeah, y'all are not concerned. Moving in together. The fool. You guys could be getting ready to move in together. Yeah, they don't want to take accountability. Justice reverse the fool, possibly for um, their own life or their own kids. Tell them to take care of their own kids. Show me this concern reverse. It just doesn't look like that's like your all's kids or whatever. Looks like that's somebody else. Um, Mercury and Pisces. This could be some intuitive um, message they're trying to communicate to you. Um, concern reverse. You're not concerned. Yeah. They want you to reject somebody or to feel sad. Four of Wands. Yeah, you must be supporting a family or be a provider, possibly head of the household. Could be married. They want, I feel like they're trying to get your sweetheart out of the picture. Yeah, they could have been doing this for a long time. That is hella sad. Death Reverse Ace of Swords. They don't want to accept whatever this is. You possibly could have been helping them financially in the past or them and their kids. They don't want to accept that that's all over with. They could be stressing about some house payments. 